this technology, um, Spotify, Espresso English, it's so easy to compare. So here's the, the what we're gonna do. Last class we saw the present perfect. So I'm, I'm gonna go here and type present perfect because that's easy to remember. And before that I'm gonna type Espresso Podcast. Espresso English, like in Italian, Espresso English. This is the one I'm familiar, uh, familiarized with, and I also like her voice because she sounds like Amazon, uh, like Alexa. She's not Alexa, she sounds like Alexa. So let's listen to her. Perfect. Hi, and welcome to the Espresso English Podcast, where you can improve your English in just a few minutes a day. My name is Shana, and I'm the teacher at Espresso English. Make sure to visit the website espressoenglish.net where you can get online courses and ebooks that will help you learn English even faster. Let's get started with today's lesson. Both the present perfect and the past perfect talk about something that happened before a point in time. I'll call that point in time a reference point. In the present perfect, our reference point is the present. And in the past perfect, our reference point is in the past. Let's look at some examples. The present perfect is used in two ways. It can be used for an action that started in the past and continues to the present. An example of that is, I have lived in this city for six months. That means I moved here six months ago and I continue living in this city. I live in the city now. I have lived in this city for six months. The other way to use the present perfect is for an action that happened before now, but at an unspecified time. For example, I have been to Japan twice. I don't say specifically when I went to Japan. I just say that I've been there twice. Both trips happened before our reference point, which is the present moment. You form the present perfect with have or has plus the past participle. Here are some more examples. My mother has just gone to the store. Janet has lived abroad for five years. I haven't seen the new movie yet. Have you finished your homework? Again, all of these sentences are talking about actions that happened before our reference point of the present. Instead of have or has, it's very common to use the short forms. For example, instead of I have been to Japan, I can say I've been to Japan three times. Instead of my mother has just gone to the store, I can say my mother's just gone to the store. Mother's is short for mother has. Instead of saying Janet has lived abroad for five years, I can say Janet's lived abroad for five years. It's especially common to use the short forms in spoken English. Okay, so you've seen how the present perfect talks about actions that happened before our reference point of the present. But the past perfect talks about actions that happened before a specific time in the past. Here's an example. When I arrived at the office this morning, I discovered that I had left my computer on the night before. Here we have two things that happened in the past. I arrived at the office. That's our reference point in the past. When I arrived at the office this morning, I discovered that I had left my computer on the night before. Had left is past perfect, and it describes an action that happened before the reference point in the past. We form the past perfect using had plus the past participle. And there's also the option of using the short form. Instead of saying, I had left my computer on, we can say, I'd left my computer on. I'd is short for I had. Here's another situation where we can use the past perfect. 
Let's say I went to Japan in 1988 and 1991, and I turned 10 years old in 1994. Then I can say I had been to Japan twice by the time I was 10 years old. Again, we have a reference point in the past. By the time I was 10 years old, and the two trips to Japan happened before that reference point. I had been to Japan twice by the time I was 10 years old. Here's another example. Let's imagine that my husband ate breakfast at 6 o'clock a.m., and I woke up at 7 o'clock a.m. Now I can say, when I woke up this morning, my husband had already eaten breakfast. Our reference point in the past is when I woke up. And the action that happened before the past reference point is in the past perfect. My husband had already eaten breakfast. Our reference point in the past is when I woke up. And the action that happened before the past reference point is in the past perfect. My husband had already eaten breakfast. Let's review. The present perfect is used when actions happen before the reference point of the present moment. For example, I have been to Japan twice. And the past perfect is used for actions that happened before a reference point in the past. For example, I had been to Japan twice by the time I was 10 years old. I hope this has helped clarify the difference between the present perfect and the past perfect. And if you want to learn more about English grammar, there are a lot of resources available at Espresso English. You can get two English grammar books plus audio for one dollar.